What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus's cameras. In particular, the dual aperture, which I believe is the first on any smartphone and it's possibly the most interesting new feature on the S9. So as you guys probably already know, traditionally on smartphone cameras we've always had a fixed aperture. On the S9s we have either f1.5 or f2.4 on the same camera. And this actually mechanically changes between the two, which as I've said before is quite insane to see on a smartphone. This is something that a lot of us are probably used to seeing on traditional DSLR cameras and things like that, where you can change the aperture. This has not really been the case on smartphone cameras. So what is a dual aperture? Why is it here on the S9s? And what effect will it have on your images? Well, that's what I'm gonna be trying to explain in this video. I'm gonna try not to go too technical and keep this as simple as possible. Right, let's start off with what Aperture actually is. Well, quite simply put, it is the opening in a camera lens to determine how much light is gonna reach the image sensor. And this is sort of how human eyes also work. If you look at somebody's eyes, especially if they've got light colored eyes, uh, when the light is bright, then their pupils will be quite small, but when the light is low, their pupils will expand to let in more light. Now, the cool thing on the S9s is that we actually have the widest aperture, I believe, on any smartphone, f1.5, which is pretty insane. And I'm sure it wasn't easy to technically achieve this on a smartphone camera. And a wide aperture such as f1.5 is basically gonna let in more light. And a narrow aperture on a smartphone such as f2.4 is gonna let in less light. Now I actually went out yesterday and did a few tests in low light and I kept all of the other settings the same. The only thing that I changed was the aperture. And as you can see from these examples, with f1.5, you can actually let in so much more light and get a much brighter image, which is absolutely awesome. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, why not just have f1.5 for everything, right? What is the purpose of having f2.4 as well? Well, one of the things that you get with a wide aperture such as f1.5 is a very small area in focus. Everything else is gonna start to appear blurry. Now, this can actually look really cool in certain situations where you have a shallow depth of field, but in other situations, it can actually make the overall image appear a little bit softer because everything around the edges will be out of focus. Now, with an aperture such as f2.4 on a smartphone, you should be getting more in focus in your shot, and generally speaking, in good light, you should be getting an overall sharper image. So I thought I'd go ahead and test this on some example images. And although it's quite difficult to show, for instance, if you look at this image, although the YouTube mug is in focus in both shots, on the shot with f2.4, the text on the S9 Plus box is much clearer. And if you look at this endoskeleton image, if you look around the edges of this endoskeleton, you can see that once again on the f2.4 image, we do have much more of it in focus compared to that of the f1.5. So now that you know the differences between f1.5 and f2.4 aperture on the S9s, how do they work? Well, they actually work automatically. You don't have to necessarily do anything. If you're on auto mode, the S9s are gonna look at the situation, and if you've got less than 100 lux of light, they are gonna switch to f1.5, and if you've got more than 100 lux of light, then they are gonna switch to f2.4. However, if you'd like to play around with the settings, you can manually change these in pro mode, Pro mode is basically a full manual mode on the Galaxy devices, and I've been using them for the past few versions. I actually really like these because they are default within the camera app. You don't actually have to go out and buy or download a separate app like you have to do on lots of other devices, and they do allow lots of control. And if you're into photography or if you're thinking of getting into photography, I definitely recommend playing around with the manual settings in pro mode on the S9s. You can change everything from the ISO uh, to the aperture to shutter speed, as well as the focus. You can manually focus as well. And this is great if you wanna learn the fundamentals of photography. It's a great point to start in. And you can also get some really interesting and creative results, which you won't be able to get just with using automatic. So guys, that is a quick explanation of the dual aperture feature on the S9s. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, then definitely hit that thumbs up button to let me know. Now I have been testing out the S9 Plus's cameras, and I have to say initial impressions, especially for low light, are very, very impressive. How good these are, we're obviously gonna have to do some head-to-head -head super sass style camera comparisons against some other devices. And if you wanna see those first, then make sure you have subscribed and switch on notifications. Those are gonna be coming in the next few days. Definitely let me know also in the comments below what other videos you'd like me to do with the S9 Plus. Thanks for watching, this is Safar on Super Saf TV. I'll see you next time.